Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. As we spend these moments with our Good Shepherd Jesus, I'm going to be using the words from a familiar Bible story, The Wedding at Cana, and that's found in John chapter 2, the first 12 verses. I'm going to start reading from verse 6. Six stone water jars, which the Jews used for ceremonial cleansing, were standing there, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he said to them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. And they did. When the master of the banquet tasted the water that had now become wine, he did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn it, drawn the water knew. The master of the banquet called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and when the guests have had plenty to drink, then the cheaper wine. You save the good wine until now. Actions speak louder than words. It's a common phrase that most people agree on. A promise that we care about someone is hard to believe until we are available to listen or help. Early on in Jesus' ministry, people were saying a lot of things about him. John the Baptist called him the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus' first disciples were calling him Messiah and the Son of God, the King of Israel. Now Jesus' actions would start to support the chatter about him. Jesus told the servants to fill the jars with water, and when they had been filled, to take some to the master of the steward. A host always serves the best wine last, or excuse me, best wine first, but now this was the best wine. You know, this is a surprising setting for Jesus' first miracle. I think most of us would have imagined him, you know, floating down in glorious light in an amphitheater of people or doing something spectacular. This isn't a life or death situation. It's a wedding. Compared to all the things Jesus does in the future, giving sight to a blind man, raising people from the dead, rising from the dead uh, his own death, this scenario hardly seems like a necessity, but Jesus cared enough to do something. Jesus makes a lot of promises to us, and his actions reinforce his claims. He cares about every detail of our lives, and he makes himself available to listen and help. Let us go to him in every situation big or small, we pray. Thank you, dear Jesus, for assuring me of your promises through your actions. Help me trust in you for all things, because you have always kept your word. Amen. Well, I hope today's devotion helps you by reminding you that Jesus cares about even the small things in your life.